Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here. It is a beautiful Wednesday here and I figured we might as well get a second one going for today here. I do welcome all the new subscribers, all the new submissions. We'll get them all out there, don't you worry here. We also have a Facebook fan page with Challenge Friday leaderboards, scoring systems for the Friday challenges. Try and get in there, we're going to try and do prizes in the new year, stuff like that there. Check it all out, it's in the description. And let's get this baby going. I do enjoy all the new hand boys. And that is exactly what we're going to do here in the lower right hand corner. It is the Red Protoss being played by Feo. Feo will be playing as the Red Protoss in the upper left hand corner. It is the Zerg being played by Thrust. All in Thrust in fact here. If that's a sign of things to come, who knows? We'll soon find out here. He's getting the Overlord going across the map with that pretty sick looking skin. Pylon goes down on the other end for Fail here. Fail, Feel, Fail. Not too sure how it's pronounced. Let's go with Feel. Feel is going to continue to mine away there. Get his probes going out here. Not Chrono boosting them at this point in time. These two are gold members here. So it is a little bit of a gold medal game if we want to put it that way here. He is finally going to send the probe out of the base here. Probe is going to move across that map. This is Akalon Wasted as always a cross spawn map. And one of the funner maps to play on if you ask me. Overlord will slowly get there, probably take him another five or six minutes to get down the other end here. And he's sending another one out. I do like to see scouting overlords. It is always decent when you use your overlords for scouting, as opposed to burying them in the back corner like they're a nuisance to you here. Spawning pool going down at the 13 mark here. So not looking the rush. Maybe he is not really all in thrust. Maybe he's just the thrust. And that probe will finally make its way in the base here. It's basically going to look to see the timing of that spawning pool. We'll realize that he's not going to be rushed at all. And can probably sit back and relax a little bit. Probably going with the hatchery with this drone here. I would have to imagine. And it does look like that is the case here. So we'll wait for that 300 to finish. Bang on timing. Damn son, you are good. I will give you that. At the other end here, we are continuing to build pylons. So we're building pylons at the other end here, taking a look at the production tab here. I'm not too sure what Feel is looking at doing here. He's a little bit slow, has saved up a ton of money. So he's got the money. He's going to go Nexus first, which is a fairly odd build. But he is looking to macro up here, probably basing that on the uh, timing of the spawning pool at the other end here. And of course, I do believe he did realize that that hatchery was dropped down here. Let's quickly take a look here. Yes, did see the hatchery at the other end of the map here. So is well aware that has been dropped down. Is getting a forge as well here. Probably going to start dropping some cannons down to get himself fended off wall is starting up with that forge not too bad so far four dogs have entered the playing field here and also has the one queen out so decent so far by our good man thrust thrust is actually going to move those dogs across that map here or to the top of the ramp we'll soon find out here they're going for a little bit of a scout does appear here and there we go of course that overlord did start to get in there seen a bit of building there and decided he better back out of there just in case there's some damage hate to see a losing early overlord my good man here are right, getting the gateway down at the wall as well here and next is about three quarters of the way done here. They do have the dogs scouting all over the map. Basically, they're looking for proxies, more or less. They're making sure they didn't get no proxies at the other end of the map. And also is well aware he could drop a hatchery down there. Going pretty macro heavy. Couple hatcheries first here, so that is a decent build. Finally got a cannon going down at the other end here. Hopefully it gets up in time before these dogs get here, but the dogs going at the pace they are. Probably not looking to do so. Basically looking to gain map control, gain vision all over the map, and they're doing a darn good job so far here. So he's got three hatch on the map here. Opponent's got himself the first gateway just got out, transferring the probes there. Basically, you're looking to get about 15 to 16 on each base is ideal and the most efficient you can get going there. Second gateway is going down for a good man feel. And at the other end here, we are still sticking to the one spawning pool here. No gas so far, so definitely not looking to get into any of a gas heavy build. Nothing at the other base here. Possibly looking to get maybe into metabolic boost if he starts getting gas pretty soon here. Or he might just be looking to go straight unarmed, unwinged dogs. Who knows? Either way here, does it look like he is scouting over here as well? Might actually be looking to get a fourth hatchery out. Who knows at this point in time here? And like I mentioned before, you'll see on the minimap now, all the piles, the Naka Towers, all that stuff has become great big white squares. I'm not too sure if it was before. Maybe I was oblivious to it, but it does look like it is somewhat new in the new patch. And I do kind of think that's a decent upgrade for him here. Of course, with that cannon down, Zelot will cover off the last hole there. Second cannon just finishes up there. Cybercore down as well for Feel. Feel has the single gas at the expansion. Nothing at the main so far here. Dogs are keeping good map control, as you notice there. Thrust is all over the map with his dogs here. Basically keeping control of the entire map. Knows exactly where his opponent is here. Queen Standard doing very good. Larva injects a Wilgum. That second queen finally comes out there. The third is up and running here. Still no drones on that, though. But at least he's got it up and going. Look at that map vision. Absolutely sick, my good man. You are one good player so far here. He's got very good map control. Always good to have map control against your opponent. It at least keeps control so you know exactly where everything is at one given time. 
uh, second Zealot's going to finish up for a good man feel. At the other end, still haven't teched up in anything at all here. Still sitting at the spawning pool. There's the double gas going down at the natural here. At his third here, he's starting to drone that up a bit as well here. Both these guys doing fairly decent. Taking a look at the units tab here. Got a couple Zealots out there. Six dogs out there. Running about the same probe the drone count here. And he is eventually getting another gateway out here. So we are going with the double gateway. Nothing up at the main here. So basically riding on two gateways so far here. But like I say, both these guys are turtling up a bit. Does go two gate into a robo. Decent so far here. And a twilight council. So really tacking up at a high end speed here. And there we go. A couple evil chambers. Does look like Thrust is looking to get some upgrades nice and early. A couple gas end up finally going down here. So he's going to be on the gas a little bit late. But at the same time, it's going to depend what his build is going to be here. Maybe he doesn't need the heavy gas build. Um, but we'll see soon find out here nothing on the third as of yet so you basically got two two bases mining the gas at this point in time is it doing all that bad if we took a look at our income tab they're both very even as you can see a little bit of an advantage on the income as far as the minerals go for thrust so we will go back to our production tab and of course he did end up getting that metabolic boost so the metabolic boost is coming down here from the twilight council we have not got anything no darkies out yet no upgrades on it, but is building a pylon on low ground with a third base here. So very well out of both these guys. Both of them are looking to do the same thing. Basically macro right up here. Still a ton of dogs on the map here. Wowzer has a boatload. 24 dogs on the map here. They're attacking the rocks. So they're looking to get their fourth down, it appears here. Overlord scouting on the end here. Like I say, uh, Thrust basically has very good map vision. So he's going to keep control of this. And here we go. Feels going to work here. Feels basically got one, two, three. Four, five, six gateways going down. There's the Robo facility. Wowzer. So definitely not going into a darky build, but does get the Observer out. So we can start getting himself a little bit of map vision here. And both these guys are going to lean back, macro up, and relax. Should be pretty good here. Remember, Friday challenge is build yourself three of every type of unit for whatever race you are. This excludes hallucinations and changelings, but you must get three of everything else. Does include archons, queens. Uh, doesn't include mothership cores, obviously. So try and get that in there. Submit it for Friday. Get your name on the leaderboard here and get yourself a proven spot for bragging rights on that baby. Join the Facebook fan page to find that leaderboard. You'll see all my posts go up there as well as my scoring videos for each Friday challenge. Should be enjoyable. Like I say in the new year, hoping to start giving prizes out for it. Do uh, every prize every month or two months, depending on how we go. Video cards, games, really depends. We'll soon find out there. Second Forge does go down. Third Forge as well here. So feel looking to macro up like crazy here. There's the dogs, there's the wings, there's the roaches. So has elected to get in the roaches. Got a spore crawler sitting in his mineral line there. So he's ready for any sort of oracle harass, which is common. Infestation pit goes down. That's going to enable him to get some hive technology if he chooses to do so here. And here we go. Doesn't look like Thrust is ready to move in there. Thrust, give it the all-in thrust, my good man. I don't know how big of a thrust that is, but I have to imagine it's a darn big one here. If he does happen to get up there, there is a fairly skookum wall off as well as an army full of stalkers. They take out a couple dogs outside their base there. And I'm a little bit surprised the observer's not moving around here, trying to get himself a little bit of vision, let him know what his opponent's doing here. But either way, Thrust does know what army to expect. Now those dogs were there, which is the most handy part about having dogs all over the map here. He's going a little back and forth here. A little bit surprised he didn't scout right in here. Maybe go to take these rocks out. I have to imagine might happen sometime soon here. Did get his fourth down though. Thrust playing a pretty decent game so far. I will give that to you, my good man. There's the infestation pit down there. Does have the layer technology, of course. No hives as of yet here. But like I say, he is playing a pretty skookum game there. And of course, the hive technology is the one that is building there. So we'll start to get in the hives. Is getting his upgrade for his ranged weapon as well here. And here we go. We're going to look at attacking that. As the um, Colossi sitting right in the middle of all those stalkers here. That was enough for Thrust. Thrust has a heavy duty build of Hydralis here. So looking pretty good so far here. He is sitting on the 1-1 one -one for upgrades here. We are getting the Thermal Lance coming out as well as a ton of upgrades. One for everything. Shield, ground weapon, and ground armor coming out of him here. And of course that is Zerg Carpace level 2. Level 2 on the range as well here. So looking pretty good. Hive Technology will slowly finish up there. And we'll soon find out what he chooses to do from there. Decent creep spread. I will give him that. He has gotten himself about a third of the way across the map here. He is sending everything down into his army here. Basically, he has controlled this whole game here. He controlled the map anyways. Hasn't really had any engagement, but definitely controlled the map. There's a boatload of zealots going down there. Did he actually end up getting the zealot legs? No, surprisingly enough. No zealot legs, no blink, but does have the double colossi out here. Does have the one for the ground uh, weapons there. Has level two for ground weapons and level one of his uh, ground armor and shields as well here. And there we go, looking to take the high ground here. Hydra's liking on the high ground, dogs liking on the high ground. Overseer loves overseeing, believe it or not, there.
Take a look here. He has more gateways than he knows what to do with. There's three. There's five. And I do believe six more up here if I counted that correctly. So it has 11 gateways on the field. One isn't quite into warp gate technology. There he goes. Does scout out a fourth phase out of his opponent here. We'll look to try and take that down. He's going to force the army to move out finally here. He's just going to send a few zealots out. He isn't going fully uh, out of position to get over here. And there he goes. Starts going to work on those dogs. Like I say, a little bit surprised zealot legs aren't out there for him here. Especially based on the amount of zealots he has here. And there we go. Now he's got the high ground, which is what he wants. By the way, too many of those Colossites in the background here. Three Colossites trying to run out of here. Basically, he might look to knock the Nexus off on the way here. Here comes the warp in. He's trying to micro as best he can. He's doing a very decent job of it here. He finally stops and decides to engage it head on here. I do believe he is going to look to target the Colossite down there. Gets one Colossite here, but we'll probably end up losing this entire army here. So that kind of sucks for him here. But either way, he's got a lot more reinforcing roaches, but that's just too many units for him. So he's going to back that off of there. And that fort is going to successfully go down for the Protoss player, which has got to leave Thrust a little bit bewildered here. He's got to get another base out here. A Zerg, you usually want to be up at least one hatchery on your opponent, especially when you're playing against Protoss here. But look at the army accumulating in the middle here. Taking a look at the army, David does have 27 dogs and 18 roaches. Has some corruptors finally on the field here. So three corruptors to support that army here. Taking out some creep spread here. Taking out overlord quite possibly not quite overlord does get out of there scott free will sit up there to keep that vision here of course he does have the creep over there as well so this army's finally ready to move out three corruptors they're kind of going back and forth not too sure if he really wants to engage this apparently he doesn't here joins up with the hydralist though might look to engage it now here like i say his opponent doesn't appear to have too too much other than the one one two corruptors with no zealot legs or anything like that here so now the uh, the uh, corruptors are going to go to work on the uh, Colossi as best they can here. There goes one Colossi. He's down the one Colossi left here. Surrounds him with the roaches on the backside here. Second Colossi ends up going down here. And there goes the Colossi out of there. But at the same time, it was a fairly even engagement. So basically, everybody ends up going down in those armies here. Has reinforcing stalkers here. So Fields playing a pretty decent game so far. Not doing that bad at all here. Keeping his opponent at bay. His opponent might want to start teching up. Maybe start getting into some altars. But at the same time, he's being pressured pretty hard here. Might not have the time. A couple corruptors aren't going to do him a whole lot of good at this point in time. Especially with no Colossi on the field. And Hydralis are going to work here. They're going to try and surround the rest of these uh, stalkers here. No uh, reinforcing stalkers. So a little bit surprising there. Zealots are going to work on the Hydras as well there. There they go. They do melt through that here. And the pressure's on, my good man. Hopefully you can fend this off. We'll find out. There's a reinforcement. Lots of Zealots here. Still no Zealot legs, which is a little bit surprising. But at the same time, he is pushing ahead with a lot of force here. And look at the mineral count. Wowzer, 3,500. So a lot in the bank here. He's got his opponent out. Bay opponent's in big trouble here. Don't know if he's going to be able to fend this off here. He's just pushing too, too hard. Larva count's only at four. I can't picture him fending all of this off here, but you never know. Never count good man thrust out here. There we go. He is going to try and push that back here. He does it trying as best he can here. Look at his upgrades here. He's sitting at two and two. So decent on the upgrades, but at the same time, his opponent has the exact same upgrades. Upgrade, so he will counter that off here. Trying to chase down a few more zealots. Might get a few more kills here, hopefully. Nobody's turning around here. So it does look like he did end up chasing his opponent out of here. His opponent does not want any piece of that. So that will enable uh, his opponent here, Thrust, to start getting back in it. Larva count's looking good. He is doing decent on the uh, creep spread as well here. Decent on his larva count. And Jex are there. Still do not see any form of high or Hydralis, Ultralis den there. And there we go. Now he's macroed right up there. Wow, there's a ton of roaches just hit the field here. Take a look at the production tab. There's the Ultralisk Cavern on the go there. Almost like we could predict that baby going down there. And is also getting his level 3 for his range weapons as well here. So they basically amass to a pretty even count here with the 174 to 169. And they're both going to sit back at this point in time. Only has one Colossi on the field here. Uh, a couple Zealots, like I say, there's Zealot legs. Finally, my good man. A little bit late on the Zealot legs, but other than that there, I think he should be all right there. No blink, so he's not going to go into blink at all here. And he is getting another Robo down, so looking to start massing up on those Colossi here. Always good to do against uh, Roach Hydra. Roach Hydra is a very powerful build. But at the same time, you need lots of Colossi to try and deal with it because it does help quite a bit here. And here we go. I don't know if those Roaches are going to be too much for this. That is a lot of Roach damage. Trying to melt off the Zealots so they can get to the back line there. There they go. Do melt off all the Zealots here. He is electing the back off here. I don't know if he's waiting for the rest of his army here. Uh, Hydras did just join it up here. At the same time, both these guys, a little bit of a standoff at the OK Corral, if you ask me here. And my hey and boy, I'm not too sure if he's going to have this one here. It looks like a fairly even battle is going to commence here. And there we go. Now we're going to move in. He's electing to get in there, trying to get in as far as he can, trying to melt the uh, melt the Colossi. He did that. Very well done there. So now he's going to go to work on those uh, stalkers here. There we go. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Still 2-2 two, two upgrades for him here, but that's enough to push him out of here. 
So Thrust is going to back off, but at the same time, he's got a lot of reinforcing dogs there. So very well done. Did Immaculate that army. And there we are. My boys are in here. So the Ultras are going to get in there. This is going to be great big trouble for his opponent there. Ultras is going to do a ton of damage here. You can see 38 damage on the side blades here. And also have the two car face. I would imagine the upgrades for uh, his Ultras are coming at the Ultras Cavern as well here. And here we go. These guys are just going to basically chomp through all these stalkers here very easily. They're doing a decent job here. Is down to two more left there. They target him as best they can here. They're going to work taking as many as they can here. This might be too much for him now. A lot of Roach and Hydra damage going down here. Taking out all the stalkers. There goes the Colossi. And this is big trouble here. He may be on four base. May have a lot of mineral low. Mineral count. But he did give the GG. Decent game by my good man Thrust. Not too bad by you either, Feel. That is a gold medal game for you guys there. And I will leave you with this. When the wind's blowing and the paper's on your wall, the picture might not look good, but remember to wear your helmet. Thanks so much for watching. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.